so I guess by renovating the Rosa and Fiori you un you automatically renovate this thing too. Let's renovate this thing. That's one more. You can invest on shops to obtain more profit in the next uh, in the next income. If you invest money enough, you also receive uh, shop items. Beware, to invest in a shop you must talk to the owner and select the option investment. So. Hmm. Okay, so I just invested. Well, yes, uh, not here, is it? Uh, I think. Uh, oh. uh, goodbye for now. Okay, so 25% of the central uh, part of the city is renovated. I did an investment, but I do not know how that thing will work. And I'm right now I'm hearing a chest nearby, so let's see. Oh no, it's a flag. Okay, so status. There is a flag here. Near to Ross and Fiori. There's the blacksmith, the doctor, and right next to the doctor there's this empty space. There's a flag here. So if you guys want to keep that in mind. Okay, so now we now have two banners. Okay, so first things first, I know there's the the thieves guild is somewhere around there, that way, so let's just row. Okay, turn the ship. Ship, it's a boat. There we go. They're not gonna let me go. I have to go grab another boat. Come now. It's on the other side of the river. We could use this opportunity since we're close by to a Borgia tower, we could eliminate another Borgia captain. So sneaky. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Oh no! Oh yes, I managed to scout it before he. It's not scout, it's to scavenge. 
Okay guys, so basically for this one, it's pretty simple. Just get to a rooftop, he's gonna do patrols. You just have to jump on him and never assassinate him. That's the most basic and easiest way you're gonna get of killing a Borgia captain. Okay, turn around. Synchronize. Burn the building down. Okay, so basically that was it. Right now, I'm trying to see if I can get the other, uh, to the other side. Call a horse in the process. Oh, let's head towards the Thieves Guild that is commanded by La Volpe. At this stage of the game, La Volpe is having trouble with Machiavelli. He has, in, he has trouble on trusting him at the moment. The reason why this is is because he thinks Machiavelli is a traitor to the Order because he left the villa, uh, Mont he left Monterigioni just after, um, just before the Borgia came in and attacked them. Okay, so let's just. Get out. <laughs> Ezio. La Volpe. <laughs> I'm surprised to see you. And why have you appeared at my door? Wait, I know the answer. You always do. You want to put my spies to work? Then join me. In aiding Machiavelli? No, thank you. That man is a traitor to our order. A serious allegation coming from a thief. What is your proof? He was an ambassador to the papal court and traveled as a personal guest of Cesare himself. I also know he abandoned you right before the villa attack. Machiavelli may not please all tastes, but he is an assassin, not a traitor. I am not convinced. Ah, he is meeting someone in the Trastevere right now. Care to accompany me? I will follow. And mystically enough, he disappears. So you gotta meet up with him. Let's go. It's gonna force me to cross the river again, but whatever. Let me just check the secondary objective. Do not let yourself get detected while you do your okay. Remain unaware until you meet. Okay, so I can't make any trouble so far. And when I'm trying to reduce my notoriety, I cannot get caught. Looks simple enough. Come on, get up there. There he is. Wow. 
What do you make of that? He's meeting with the city guard. And he just got some intel. Son Claudio has been injured! They are going to shoot him. I will kill these. Go! Get the others! Let's go! Can't see shit! What the fuck? From the guards. I cannot. They are going to kill me. Pay attention. Do what I do. Follow my Let's lead. go. So basically, you're now in a wanted state, and in order to escape the guards, you're gonna have to blend in with the crowd. And I would like this guy now to get to not to fall behind. You see that pack shining? That's the that's the group that's gonna help you get away. You're gonna wait for it. Get inside the group and just stay still, and you automatically are gonna blend in with the group. Of course, it's never too much just to accompany the group right in the center, because sometimes you just get sidetracked. So you just keep up with them and you should be fine. Okay, so far I think we're not gonna have any more trouble. Let's go. Claudio! Nice. Not a grazie, Mercedes. Keep out of sight for a while. Desi. The guards are looking for you. I see they are posters up. Then read them down. You can pay the heralds a few florins to silence them. Or I can eliminate witnesses. <laughs> you know how to disappear. Okay, for you guys out there, there's three ways in which you can remove notoriety. You can bribe heralds, remove posters, or kill witnesses. Uh, right now I'm gonna kill. So basically, bribers. So let me just tell you what exactly what each of them remove of notoriety. So basically, posters remove 25% of notoriety. Posters remove 50, and ofi killing officials remove 75%. So that's one thing to keep in mind when you're trying to decrease your notoriety as fast as possible. You'll try to look on a map for a witness. So let's just meet up with Laval right here. And try to renovate. What a night this has been. Volpe, listen to me. I know what we saw. But you have nothing to fear from Machiavelli. I am sure of it. I have you to thank for saving Claudio's life. If you believe Machiavelli remains loyal to the Order, I trust you. So, what of the thieves? We had plans to repair this old building, but... Now that you and I are working together, I would like to know what you think. We need to make sure the Borgias stay away. Perhaps it could look like an inn. Yes. Hmm, I like that idea. Then I will make it so. It's interesting. They they all want to talk. When they ask for advice, they all want to. That Ezio give them the advice. 
because at this stage of the game, not this, this stage of the game, but at this timeline, they consider Ezio as a leader of the assassin Welcome, he's growing. To la Volpe addormentata. The inn looks perfect. No one will ever suspect its real purpose. The guild will be run from here. Visit me whenever you like. There might be objectives to pursue that will help our cause in the city. I see you thieves compete against each other. You can participate if you wish. Perhaps you will show them a thing or two. Ah yes, I forgot. We also have gambling. It is a great source of income, especially since we ensure that the Borgia guards always lose. One last thing. I need your spies to find the apple. It has been taken from me. We are searching the city for it already. Molto bene. Come to Isola Tibarina with your findings. I shall. So, like I was saying, at going forward into the game, you realize that they are now looking to... Um, they're basically asking Ezio for advice for one reason and one reason only. He's about to become the assassin. Who, uh, he's gonna become the leader of the assassin order. Which is a big deal. He's gonna be the, men the one they're gonna call Mentor. I have no idea what kind of memory this is. So I'm just I'm right right now I'm climbing this up so I can synchronize with this viewpoint. There's a lot of shops here that I could renovate since they're not in the influence of Borgia grounds. Just gonna leap here. So there's the bank. There's the tailor, and here's the blacksmith. It's, it's still costs a lot. We're getting a nice revenue. We should keep this up. Needless to say, that when you um, renovate. Uh, certain shops, the more you renovate, the cheaper are the items are gonna be. For example, works from the of if you if you up, if you renovate buildings like blacksmith, you're gonna get dis discounts on blacksmiths. Uh, you're gonna get uh, if you do doctors, you can. Jeez, shut the fuck up. Jeez, like I was saying, if you renovate certain specific buildings, you're gonna get uh, discounts to those specific type of buildings. If you Which makes sense after all, you're actually, you're like an owner to that building, you're getting the revenue of that building. And if, if you're gonna buy stuff from that building, you'll <laughs> you obviously get a, a discount, it's, it's, it has a certain logic to it. So that pyramid right there is uh, one of the Romu uh, uh, Romulus lair. And there's a Borgia tower right up on this area, but I'm not gonna do it right now. I'm just heading this way because I need to meet up with uh, the the, me the mercenaries that are having trouble with um, with the French army, the French allies, uh, the allies of Cesare. Basically, Bartolomeo D'Aviano is fighting a war with two fronts at the same time. So, what we're gonna do? What we're gonna do now is we're gonna get, try to help him out to relieve some of that weight right on, that has befallen on Bartolomeo. We're gonna four thousand florins in the bank vault, which is nice. So, we're gonna try to relieve relieve some of that pressure out of Bartolomeo d'Alvian by removing one of their one of his allies. Ah. 
which is what gonna it's gonna happen is we're gonna have to kill a Borgia captain because a Borgia captain uh, shit that away because there's a Borgia aha there's the viewpoint like I was saying the Borgia captain has a Borgia tower in the vicinity therefore uh, it's a win hey, hey. it's actually a win-win situation for us because we want to remove the um, the Borgia presence in the, in Roma, so we can renovate buildings. And later on, when you rec start recruiting assassins, these towers are gonna become their homes, sort of, because they are gonna allow you to recruit more assassins. You will want to kill this captain, but you only be able to kill this captain when you begin this mission of the the the, the mercenaries. La Caserma de Diaviano. Now I like this character, Bartolomeo Diaviano. He's one of the funnest, funniest they've made so far in the game.